Hi folks, this is Diffie Q Quiz 3. We're given some homogeneous Cauchy Euler equations to solve. Let's remind ourselves what the Cauchy Euler equation looks like. For second order Cauchy Euler, it looks like some constant x squared y double prime plus another constant x y prime plus some constant y equals zero. So that's what they look like for us. And what makes Cauchy Euler Cauchy Euler is that the exponent on the x matches the derivative on the y. And that lets us get away with our, uh, the following assumption. We're going to look at y equals x to the m. And as we take derivatives, of course, the power rule kicks in. And every derivative we take, we lose a power of x. So if we multiply the derivative then by the power of x that we've lost, we're going to restore the powers of x, and so we have a linear combination of x to the m equals zero. And just like we saw with constant coefficient ODEs, we're assuming the interval here x is bigger than zero, so all these x's will actually cancel out, and we're just going to be left with the auxiliary equation, a to m times m minus one plus a one m plus a naught equals zero. So that's what the auxiliary equation looks like for the Cauchy Eulers. So with that in mind, let's start here with number two of the auxiliary equation here. 2m m minus 1 minus m minus 2 is 0. We multiply that out. 2m squared minus 3m minus 2 is 0. This factors nicely enough. 2m minus, excuse me, 2m plus 1. times m minus 2, which gives us m equal minus a half 2. Now remember, the assumption we were making is that y equals x to the m. And so from this, we get y equals x to the negative 1 half, and y equals x squared. Since the exponents here are different, they're linearly independent, which means I get my final answer. y equals c1 x to the minus half, plus c2 x squared. So that's the answer for part A. Part B, another Cauchy Euler for us. The auxiliary equation is going to be m times m minus 1 minus 9m plus 25 is 0, which gives us m squared minus 10m plus 25 is 0. Once again, that factors nicely for us. And we get a double root. Now if we think back to constant coefficient, and constant coefficient equations, when we had a double root, we would multiply by a factor of x to remove the duplication. Here in Cauchy Euler, we multiply by a factor of natural log x to remove duplication. So I'm going to have then for my final answer c1x to the fifth plus c2 x to the fifth natural log x. And it's always when we get to this situation I like to remind people that another way to tackle Cauchy Euler is to let x be e to the t, in other words t equal natural log x. If you do that and go through and, and transform this diffy q into the land of t's, when you get that repeated root, you'll be multiplying by another factor of t which of course is the natural log x. So that's always good, a good exercise to solve it that way using that substitution. Finally, part C. Let's get to our auxiliary equation m times m minus 1 plus 5m plus 13 is 0. That gives us m squared plus 4m plus 13 is 0. This doesn't factor nicely for us, so I can check the discriminant. I get 16 minus 52, which is a negative 36, so I'm going to get uh, some complex conjugate zeros here. So I get m is negative 4 plus or minus the square root of 36, which is 6i, all divided by 2. So I get negative 2 plus or minus 3i. And so you're looking at things like uh, x to the minus 2 plus 3i, 
x to the minus 2 minus 3i. Once again, how do we handle that? Um, well, we look at x, say, to the 3i as e to the 3i natural log x, and then we use Euler's formula uh, to break it down for us. And so we get for our final answer then, once you go through all the, the steps, you get e x to the minus 2, that's the real part of the answer there, times c1 cosine 3 natural log x plus c2 sine 3 natural log x. And once again, uh, it's worth your time at, at some point in your life, at least once, you should work one of these using this substitution. It's a good exercise on chain rule, uh, and you can actually see better, I think, where all these other things uh, work out. I think I'm missing a parenthesis here, so I'm going to put that in. And that'll do it then for quiz three.